and welcome to FYI. Welcome, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We had a bit of a false start earlier, but we're happy that you folks are here with us. And do let us know if you are hearing us loud and clear, folks. We have a little bit of a false start. Apologies. Good to see you, uh, folks like Beatrice Selby and Oprah Parts and all the other folks. We have a staff who are going to be here with you. Do let us know if you are hearing us. If you are receiving us loud and clear, happy 2023. Good to see BHS out from Pat and all the other folks who are joining us across social media. We are tremendously happy that you folks are here with us. Folks, it's a new year and guys, we are, we look forward to this time with, with, with you guys. We look forward, we look forward. Let us know if you're hearing us loud and clear. I see uh, John Jones is here and Nicole Fordyce. You do not know how much we look forward to seeing you folks. I see uh, Clear Alexis Charmy is here as well. Apologies, we, we had a bit of a fall sample. Good to see each and every one of you. I see Clear Alexis and then Ms. Mitchell is here as well. Do let us know if you are hearing us loud and clear. That's very important for us. I see David Johnson is here as well. All the technicians and JT, do let us know, guys. Do let us know. Good to see you, folks. Welcome to FY. We got a bit of news and information to share with you, folks. Uh, good to see you, uh, Tommy Gibbs. And again, guys, yeah, yeah, John Jones is loud and clear. I was looking for that. John Jones says loud and clear. We were looking for that. Good to have each and every one of you, as we said, uh, right here with us. And we're going to spend some time with you folks. Look forward to it. We had a long, we had quite a long break, and guys, we, 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 we look forward to this time. Uh, with you folks, we got some stuff in the morning papers we can touch on. A couple of things happening internationally, some regionally, some locally as well. We're going to be following up on. But again, guys, great to see, great to see each and every one of you uh, who have who have joined us. Really great to be here with every one of you. Uh, fantastic, beautiful folks. Uh, in the other we, we can do it, folks. By the way, we do it here. Uh, how is the weather? Where you guys are joining us, you know the weather is good. That's far in our end, and that's far and holding, folks. We are holding better. We are holding better. But so good, so good to see you. So good to see you. Gwyneth Anderson says loud and clear. We happy Gwyneth and Karen Hill. I see Karen Archibald is with us as well, and June Chase. I see uh, Sharon Anthony. How is the weather where you folks are joining us? Whether you're joining us, guys, on Twitter, you're joining us on Facebook, you're joining us on YouTube, you're in the diaspora, or you're right here home with us. We are happy, 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 happy to have each and every one of you here with us, guys. And do let us know, do let us know uh, what the weather is doing, where you guys are. Uh, we seem to be uh, in, in good standing thus far. You know, some intermittent showers, the forecast says. There's going to be some thunderstorm because of heavy, heavy rain later on. And we are we are looking forward to that. And our end goal, folks, we are looking. We can take it how we get it. We, we are giving this year, but we're going to persevere in spite of. Like the fall start we had, in spite of all those little things, we are going to keep persevering, folks. We are very happy, very happy that you folks are here with us. Pierce and Pulse, another year, folks. Another year, good to see you. David Johnson says it's sunny in Barbados. We're very happy about that. We're happy about that. Troy, Troy Boyce uh, is there too. Troy says it's, it's 74 degrees in, uh, is it Meridian? Meridian, Minneapolis. Meridian, Minneapolis. It's 74 degrees. Is that good weather for you, Mr. Johnson? Do let us know if that's good weather. Is that if that is good weather for you? I see Kishan Sharma Ramjatan saying share that right and encouraging other folks to do the same as well. But you know, you gotta that's that's precisely what we want you folks to do. That is precisely what we want you good folks to do. Share, share, share the like, do what you gotta do, folks. As you know what we say here, share, you know, uh the other way we're gonna say it, guys, is uh is share expose. <laughs> Share, share, and expose. Guys, we're so happy. Happy New Year to you and your family, guys. And we wish you guys nothing but the very, very, very best. Nothing but the very best, guys, in 2023. Believe it or not, believe it or not, it was November 1st, then it was October 1st, then it was September 1st. And here we are. It's a new year already, guys. It's a new year. Share and expose. You folks, you know what you gotta do. Share. <laughs> Share and expose. Where you guys are joining us, so I gotta smash those emoji buttons first too. 
all of that helps guys to drive up the algorithm and helps us to get in some other places there's some other timelines and so forth that we don't usually get into it is really really good to see all of you wonderful folks joining us and guys welcome welcome it's another year and we just we're gonna keep pushing forward guys we are going to keep pushing forward like we said and there's a number of things guys a number of things a number of things you want to start with uh, in the morning papers a number of things happening in the in the morning papers uh, that we want to bring for you folks live and direct a number a number of things we are following in the morning papers a number of things welcome folks welcome wherever you're joining us from sharing exposed welcome it's a new day it's a new year Karen Hill, uh, Hill, Hallie, says i share first thing that's how you do it don't waste time first thing you get out of the way and we move on we're going down the road first thing you share the light and then we keep on keeping on so good to have you guys wherever you're joining us from we are tremendously tremendously privileged to have each and every one of you folks here with us tremendously privileged guys tremendously tremendously privileged good to see you folks good to see you folks great to see you folks fantastic to see you folks guys we're happy you're here we are happy you folks are here with us we are very very happy as we said guys share and expose we ready to get into the morning papers and we got we got a couple of things guys we want to share a couple of things we want to share with you folks as we head into as we head into the morning papers how are you folks doing out there great to see you i see magna Barrow is with us and young and smith Pandan is with us i see beatrice selby is with us whether anderson uh, penelope hudson is with us all good folks agatha queen is with us great to see you folks great to see you agatha i see uh gt boys with us as well uh, good to see all of you beautiful uh lovely we say good natured folks who have joined us and again we are tremendously tremendously pleased to have each and every one we're going to take the audio down a little bit so you guys can hear us better but good to see you i see Marilyn seafood happy new year Marilyn and nicole anthony good to see you folks i see uh, i see keshan is here and donna uh, donna brandt and i see i see uh dennis nixon is here john george of course and maxine still all of our favorite folks that is really good to have you here with us uh it's a privilege it's a privilege it's a privilege and we are we think we're ready to get into the morning papers guys we are about ready to get into the morning papers about ready and i think uh one of the first things we are going to be touching i'm going to make sure uh my notes are lined up give me a second to do that give me a quick second guys let me make sure that my notes are lined up can't believe we're in the new year already like wow can't believe it can't believe we're in the new year already and one of the first things we are touching on uh good folks is the private sector the private sector is asking for more <laughs> no surprises there no surprises there folks the the private sector they are asking for more yep yep that's what they're saying they say that um yeah let me make sure i have it correct yeah they're asking for more uh for businesses that's what they're telling us they they want more and you know this is the kind of economy that we live in who who folks who who <laughs> can do it more who are here good folks can do more the private sector said they want some more well you know let's let's um let's see what happens let's see what happens. they're asking for more will they get more that's a big question will they get more and i think the the the, the headline reads private sector commission wants more state sponsored relief to aid businesses in 2023 the private sector wants more well i thought i thought everything nice and beautiful you know that's one way that's one way to to to, to read that we thought that everything was nice and beautiful you know that's just one way you could you could you could interpret that yeah that's what the private sector is saying they want more folks what about you if you don't want that thing hmm? you don't want anything them boys sitting what more what do you folks want i want a couple of things out front parts right <clears throat> more more business opportunities more money i see um uh, facebook user asking more of what that's what i want more money more business opportunities what do you guys want for 2020 private sector says they want more more opportunities to do things bigger <laughs> to do 
<laughs> to, to do things better. They want more. I want a couple of things as well, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I want a couple of things as well. Will we get it? That's the big question. Will we get it? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I hope so, folks. Uh, another headline that we, we, we're watching, guys. March. March 17 is going to be a big day. Uh, March 17, 2023. Uh, the court case that deals with the natural resource fund. Remember that case was brought recently. Well, uh, Judge Novindra Singh is set to deliver his ruling on March 17, 2023. And of course, that case is brought by none other than uh, Chief Rip Christopher Jones and trade unionist Norris Ritter. And I know that Royce Dale Ford is one of the attorneys on that case. We wanted to put that on your calendar very, very early. So check that off on your calendar, folks. Check that off on your calendar, March 17th. Getting set for that ruling, guys, out of the High Court on the Natural Resource Fund Act. Was it passed legitimately? Was it passed lawfully in the National Assembly? That is what that is going to be focusing on, folks. Yep, 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 yep. So a lot of things are going to be happening this year, guys, and we're, we're going to be out front with you all. We can, <laughs> we're going to be out front with you folks. As we said, quite a, quite a number of things happening on the morning papers today that we think that you guys ought to know about. Are you in the right place? Because, you know, what else? What else is happening? Yep, they're telling us, um, you know, this this fastest growing oil economy. Like, what's that about? You know, Gala is one of the fastest a growing oil. I want to know what is that about because um, I don't know. I I I I, I don't know. The, the, the you know um, the fifth fastest growing. What does that mean for us? Like when when things down by your house, as we know, like many people love to have regular by you. When things hard by your house, we just go and tell the shopkeeper um, like well, we got the fastest growing. Economy, give me three pounds of sugar, a bag of tennis sugar. What does that mean? Guyana still ranks the fifth fastest growing economy without oil. Well, that's a lot of problem right there. Because if you guys have been following, as we know you guys have, if you guys have been following what we've been saying here, you'll see all the non oil sectors going down. All the non oil sector. Rice is not oil, it's a sector. The production of that is very dismal. Sugar. Sugar, the production of sugar is not very good at all either. You know, the production of sugar, so, mm, there's one. And then we talk about gold and uh, we talk about the manufacturing sector, fishing. So when uh, Eofen says here that even with oil, even without oil, that the economy is one of the fastest growing. Now, we will circle back to some of this in our, in our big issue this morning. Because it's not a good start to the new year when you see people like him. It's not, it just it just goes to show and goes to tell you some of the other things that may be followed. It's not a good thing, folks. When people run out the blocks and first and foremost, they start like it's not a good sign. Sharon Fletcher, Merlin C4, Evan Lamasa, Elizabeth Gaskin. It is not a good sign when that's how we start in things. No, nope, no, nope, that's not a good sign at all. It is not a good sign. So we're watching that. <laughs> we've been watching, folks. We're watching. Even without oil, he says, we are, you know, the fastest growing economy. Like, where? Which books he's reading? You know, what economy is, is he looking at? You know, he probably was in a foreign country looking at that economy while he was saying that. Another one of the, another one of the headlines that we're looking at, you know, this was a big one, folks. This one um, is kind of historic. You know, the blacklisting of people. Well, this would have done. This for the blacklisting of people done. Unless, folks, unless them boys going to challenge this before the high court. But we're watching, but because the high court said quite recently, the high court said just quite recently, that this black police blacklisting of people, because you have some pending matter in the court, that you can travel overseas. That this blacklisting, the police told us quite, the high court rather, that's illegal. That is illegal according to the High Court. Um, and it says here in the report that we have uh, that the other police was placing persons on, um, uh, placing persons charged with indictable offenses on a travel blacklist. The history, the High Court recently ruled, and again, Navindra Singh, uh, Justice Navindra Singh, ruled that the law enforcement agency have no power to do so. 
That is pretty interesting. You want to make a note of that. And this was this was um, this was the case surrounding uh, the this uh, young lady that was charged, um, a, a police officer who was charged, and she brought this case before the court. Uh, she tried to travel overseas, and they said, no, Marceline Washington is her name. That was the name I was looking for. Marceline Washington. She brought, she brought that issue before the high court. Marceline Washington. And, of course, the high court said she was a senior superintendent of police, and she was one of the persons charged with uh, um, some, uh, some alleged fraud in the Ghana police force. And she brought this matter before the high court. It's a pretty interesting case that you guys should continue to make a note of. So police blacklisting, that's what the high court is saying. It is illegal. Well, if they take it to the, um, to the court of appeal and perhaps ultimately to the CCJ, then we might, we might have a different account. We might not. But for now, the law is, thanks to Justice Singh and his ruling, the police have no authority. The police has no authority to blacklist anyone from traveling. Yep, and those are some of the things we're just catching you guys up on. Uh, this, this, came, this came out of a, a couple of days ago. And these are some of the things Tommy Gibbs and uh, Margaret Nelson, Sharon Griffith, you really want to make note of. These are some of the things you really want to note, make note of. As again, High Court saying, it's illegal, stop it. <laughs> that's, that's what the High Court saying. It's illegal, we are doing. We are doing, stop doing it. Right? Blacklisting people, you know, they do this invariably, invariably, uh, vindictively, with malice. I think that, that is a legal word. With malice, bad mind. Right? They want the lady travel. But they know the woman is in no flight risk. She ain't going to hide away in no place. I think, I think in this particular case, um, the superintendent had a medical appointment. The superintendent, Marceline Washington, senior superintendent, had a medical appointment and the bicep breaks up. <laughs> that bicep breaks up. Well, Justice Devinder Sheikh Singh had, had other thoughts. And that is one of the things, folks, making the morning paper city. That's one of the things, another one that we're looking at. You know, this uh, shooting situation at Movie Town. You know, between this, what they're saying is a, it's a guy and a mechanic. You know, these brothers showed up at Movie Town and you know, it really reads, really reads like a moving script. You know, they parked in front of the outside bar and lounge there at Movie Town. And apparently when the guy instructed them to move, they didn't want to move. And, you know, one of the brothers emerged from this car, they say, with a, with a, with a Hennessy bottle in his hand. And then the security guard one lash to the left side of his face, causing him to collapse, injured on the ground. And you see, at the time of the incident, there were more than 200 persons in the bar. So, of course, that was a big scene there. The year was off to such a start. Right? The year was off to such a start. Such a start. Right? Yeah. Big gun play, shots fired at movie time. And we hear that, you know, those guys are nursing some gunshot wounds. Uh, yeah. All of them done. And then, in a similar story, folks, in a similar story, um, a similar shooting incident, rather, uh, a couple of fishermen, and this time this one didn't end so well at all, a couple of fishermen, you know, something happened there in Maikoni. As these police said they were um, responding, some initial reports we see, uh, police were responding um, to a situation there at Huntley, Maikoni. And that little incident, well, I shouldn't say a little incident now that a policeman has been killed and a civilian as well has been killed. So clearly, clearly not a little incident by any measure. A policeman has been killed, folks. A policeman and a civilian and the police force put out a statement that says that they are looking, they're looking and investigating uh, this issue, folks, um, as we have... Uh, more information for you guys, right? As we have more information, guys, you are going to have more information as well. But that's what we're hearing this morning. As we have more information on that, you guys are going to have more information as well. But that's how it's going down, folks, on the morning papers today. 
That's how it's going down. Uh, yep, 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 yep. And I think I think we do have some more on this very story, folks. I think we have some more on this very story. Take a look and take a listen. Shots rang out in the wee hours of Sunday morning at the popular hangout spot outside bar and lounge at Movie Town on the East Coast. Police are investigating the shooting that occurred at the Movie Town parking lot, which left Olafi Dos Santos injured. Reports indicate that the incident occurred as Dos Santos joined a tussle between security guards and his two friends as the patrons were leaving early Sunday morning. Eyewitnesses stated that during the fight, gunshots were fired and Dos Santos fell to the ground. It is still unclear who fired the shots, but Dos Santos is reportedly nursing several gunshot wounds at a private hospital. In a separate shooting incident, Police Corporal Dwayne McPherson has succumbed after allegedly being accidentally shot by his colleague. According to reports, McPherson and other officers were on duty in Huntley Myconney early Sunday morning when the incident occurred, stemming from a domestic dispute. Marlon Budberg and Kishan Budberg were also reportedly shot at the scene. Kishan Budberg has succumbed to his injuries. I'm a phone light. I don't know the companion while he's living with me. I saw you see what happened in the car. Now I'm going to see my son lying down in the car and he lying down. When I, when I shine the light on him, I see the whole stomach thing like it's, it looked like a gunshot to me. Let me see, like for me, that was a experience like. So when I don't know, so man, we got to do something. Let me call a taxi, we ain't getting with no taxi. We come, we gone, we sell we go out at the mic, we sell her, we go at the station and tell them police and come pick you up and care him. So when we gone at the station, the police said they want nobody in the station. They put me out and they lock the gate and they put me. They don't want to take no statement from me because I really want to carry my son out at the hospital. So now we have to end up at the hospital. We said, we go see an ambulance and come and pick him up. So when I go, we go now to the hospital and say there is no ambulance we can see again there. So now I said, so we going to do? And one of the security guards decided to call a taxi and they said, I'm get a taxi for you to go and pick you up to carry at the hospital. So eventually now I see a police officer. And I tell the officer, my son is by my home so in the corner, lying down. And I really want an ambulance, but they said they have no ambulance. And I said that if we get a taxi, if it's, if it's anything that we can carry with the taxi, he said, yes, let me take a taxi and carry him at the hospital. They saw the taxi come. So as we come in with the taxi, we see the police vehicle in front of me coming back in the dam again. So when we come inside the dam, we see the police and the meet before. So we go now, the police say, where is the boy? When we go, I see in the corner again, I tell them, he's in the corner. When we go, we check my son. When we check he, he died. And we start one hollering, a shout, shout. I feel like me, you know what for no more. And I'm crying, I'm crying. And the police officer then just watching me. Yep. And those are just some of the things making the morning papers today, guys. Just a couple of the things making the morning papers. Believe it or not, that's the kind of year that has started. It's off to a feisty start. Our thoughts and prayers go out to both families of that policeman and that civilian uh, that lost their lives over the weekend. And guys, that was just the start of things. That's just the start of things. You know, I saw a comment out of the vice president that says, you know, we're going to have a fantastic year. Well, if the start of the year, guys, is anything to go about, is, is anything to go by, you know, Beatrice Selby and Margaret Nelson, if the start of the year is anything to go by, we're in for a rough start. We're in for a rough treat, folks. And that's just a couple of the things uh, making the morning papers today. Just a couple of of the things we want to head into uh, some of the things that are happening internationally we're on the trend now guys we're on the trend and some of the stuff that are happening internationally folks brewing internationally some of the folks that are some of the things brewing regionally margaret and joy kosher little zephyr 
That's how the year is starting. Some of the things that are brewing locally as well, we, we want to touch on, and you guys know how we're going to start. We're going to start with what's happening, folks, internationally. Some of the stuff brewing internationally, that is where we're going to start this morning. And really good to have each and every one of you guys here, here with us. Quite a few things brewing. Good to see you, Simple Graves. Good to see you, Dolly Anderson and uh, Selma Khan. Good to see you, Tommy Gibbs and uh, Candy Lee Indoji. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I see Penny Chester has joined us as well. Uh, good to see Gloria Chester as well. Thanks for the thing, Gloria. Thanks, thanks for the thing. Folks, uh, Gloria gave me some um, exotic black cake. This Christmas, some exotic black, among other things, among other things, but the cake, the cake was it, the cake was it. Some fantastic, fantastic black cake, guys. Uh, but let's start, folks, with some of the things uh, that are happening internationally that we think you guys ought to know about. And I think we are starting this morning, folks, in Portugal. I think that's where they're bringing us in from, from Portugal, folks. And that is one of the things, boy, one of the things, boy, internationally. Uh, Portugal folks had a had a reshuffle of their administration quite recently. You know, uh, you know, some countries people treat uh, corruption or corruption should be treated. Some people treat corruption as it ought to be treated, and Portugal is one of those places. They found two of the ministers and some little, little shady deals, right? And folks, this is, wasn't even with investors in the room. This was even with Sue um who has all the um, the support. And handles all the arrangements, support arrangements. <laughs> and the Portuguese government, right, they, they call it a mini reshuffle. And this is one of the things, folks, happening internationally. You know, we talk a lot, Gavin Holder, uh, Paul Kush, Donna, and Jennifer Thorne. We, we talk a lot about uh, good governance. We talk a lot about uh, transparency. We talk a lot about um, a lot of things. We talk a lot about uh, rule of law, but the practice at our end has been terribly lacking. The practice of the thing at our end, woefully lacking, woefully lacking. And so this is one of the things we're following, folks. This is one of the things brewing, you know, if you have a couple more uh, ministers that have to be pulled and so on, this government could end up on very, very shaky grounds. Jennifer Seaboard, <laughs> Edward Brooks. I want to know you to come in here. Edward said, keep Sugate alive. I was thinking about you when I said it, Edward. Thinking about you, Sharon Fletcher and Gavin and all the other folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things, a lot of things, guys, are brewing internationally. And this is just one of them, one of the other ones we want to share with you. You folks might know this guy. He is hot. He is the hawk in the Avengers. Well, he had a terrible accident uh, during the Christmas holidays. The hawk who, who uh, stars in the Avengers. Is that is it a trilogy as yet? Is it a trilogy? Yeah, Jeremy Renner is his real name. Uh, hawk, Hawkeye, Hawkeye is the name of the character, the Marvel character. And he had a terrible fall. Um, let me make sure I get it right. While he was plowing snow, while he was plowing snow, um, he has been hospitalized. I think they said he underwent a surgery, and even so, they say he remains in critical condition. So, uh, folks, spare prayer, prayer for this brother. Spare prayer, prayer for this brother. Hawkeye, he comes and so he, he, he's coming out of the movies too. But I think that's one of the roles uh, he is well known for. He comes as Hawkeye in the Avengers uh, trilogy and battling for his life. So, critical, that's what the report says. He remains critical. He means critical guys, and that is one of the things. Just one of the things brewing this morning. One of the things in the uh, in the morning brew, and another issue we are looking at with folks uh, in Mexico. Look at this now. Look at this. Look at this headline. Mexico. Right? They were trying to um, break out a gang leader from a Mexican prison. A gang leader, right? Seventeen are dead in that bid to break out this gang leader, and he, he did escape himself, along with some other folks, 25 escapees, including this particular gang leader in Mexico. 25 persons, including the gang leader, and of the 17 who were dead. This was the kicker for me, folks. This was the one that had me cringing John Jones and uh, Bernard Allison um, and, and the comments. This is one that really had me cringing. 
of the 17 dead, 10 were guards at the, at the station, at the prison. 10 of them were guards at this prison. If that's not something for make you feel for cringe you, right? Nothing else will. Right? Nothing else will. Yeah. 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 That's one of the things folks uh bring in internationally. That's when 17 there, 10 uh prison officers, 25 escapees are there in, in Mexico. It ain't getting any better than that. It ain't getting no better than that, folks. Yep. And look at this other one, of course. You know this by now. We've, we've been having such such a time. You all should, should remember Pope Benedict um, when he burst onto the scene as Cardinal Ratzinger. Right? I think he hailed from Germany, if I'm not mistaken. And then he, he took on the name um, as, he, as he became Pope. Pope, um, Pope Benedict. At the 16th, he took on that, 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 that title, Pope Benedict the 16th. And then after he retired as Pontiff, he took on the title of Pope Emeritus. Well, he passed away over the weekend. Um, we had Pele, then we had Pope Emeritus. Um, I think just before Pope Emeritus or after, um, we had an uh, international journalist who I love. I don't know if the name uh, means anything to you guys, but Barbara Walters also uh, passed away. Uh, just a few days ago as well you know these were uh, larger than life figures i mean barbara walters right we, we told you guys about pillay and the world is still uh, mourning the death you know i saw a line just this morning that says thousands have been paying uh tribute to pillay in brazil thousands and also uh, for pope benedict there um at the vatican i think his is um his remains are lying in state at the basilica and thousands have been paying their respect, and of course, to Barbara Walters as well, who are transitioned life over the weekend. And that's the kind of start we've had to this new year, folks. And we've got a lot happening uh, where we are as well. A lot of things, a lot of things happening on, on our front too that we're going to share with you folks. Um, and regionally, folks, regionally, um, this is Trinidad, not too far from us. Uh, five murdered on New Year's Day in Trinidad, five, with the third day of the year. Right? This is what the Trinidadians are telling us. Five on the other side. And it comes, you know, I've been saying, and I think, I, I, you know, somebody should listen. We gotta get, this is National Year of Prayer. <laughs> national, national Year of Prayer, that's what we need. Not time to pray, time to pray. Five murdered, uh, on New Year's Day in Trinidad. And of course, we had um, uh, the gun incidents over the, over the weekend. You know, two succumb and five incidents with guns and firing of guns, discharging of firearms. Right? And I thought that was it. I said, well, of course, things are going to level off a little bit. But that wasn't it, folks. And as we come to some of what is brewing locally, you'll see. You know, we're going, to, we're going to show you folks some other stuff that are happening. So that's one of the things, guys, uh, that happening uh, happening in Trinidad we wanted to bring your attention to. Five already. Five. And of course, we're not insulated. We are not insulated. We spoke initially um, uh, things on the, in, in the morning papers and what transpired. Mike Coney, policeman, dead, a civilian, and dead, and the police force still investigating that. That's two. Two deaths are ready for the new year. Among others, two already, folks. Yep, two already. You know, let's turn attention, guys, to some of the things that are that are happening locally. Because quite a few things, quite a few things happening locally. We want to direct your attention to, and this is one of them. This is just one of them. A Chinese national, they're telling us, is now being hospitalized after being stabbed. Right, and the born intention LBI was up on the East Coast. And the reports that we saw didn't get into too much of how he ended up being stabbed, saving except that a, um, a gentleman who heard this screaming outside, a pensioner, he said when he looked outside, he saw this, um, this man at his gate, and by the time he got into, onto the step, the man was in his yard on the ground bleeding, this Chinese national. And this is also being investigated. So this is third day of the year. 
30 of years. This, this is the start. Chinese national hospitalized after this uh, stabbing incident at, at LBI. That's the kind of start, folks, that the year is off to. Not a good start, right? I think the name is Ji Zhang, 26 year old Chinese national. The report has been hospitalized at a at a um, at the city hospital, right? And this took place at um, Onion Field LBI. Onion Field LBI again. In this report, this pensioner said he heard this screaming outside. And when he looked outside, he saw this fellow who was running for his life from somebody. But then he got downstairs. He saw the man in his yard lying in a pool of blood. I think he called the he called um, nine one one. Thankfully, they responded. Good start to the year for nine one one. But this is this is this is the kind of start the year is after for. It's not a good start. Now again, I saw I saw um, a colleague of yours. You have this one. You have colleagues now. See, it's not my colleague, right? Saying that you know trying to get the headline correctly. That everything is nice locally, right? Looking forward to an exciting year. I think I think that was it. Let me see if I get it. All right? Guys are going to have an exciting year. I think that is the that is the attribution I saw. Right? Guys are going to have an exciting year. I'm certain that's the attribution I saw to the vice president, your friend. <laughs> an exciting year. Uh, lots of us are like, we when how. <laughs> We still, we still get it. It's going to be an, an exciting year. But I hold myself too. I hold myself. <laughs> Waiting. So that's that's one of the other things we're following, folks. It is going to be an exciting year. Not ready. I know it's this kind of excitement, but we like it, folks. We like it. And then look at this other one now. Again, this is day three. Day three. You know, um, Chesel Chepo would say, brace it over. All right, brace it over. A lot of stuff. Look at look at this. Look at this one here. All right? A woman picked up a knife and uh, stabbed her husband. You know, and this report here is very, very chilling. Do we have it? I think I asked them to put it up so we can I can yeah, yeah. Listen to this one. A woman picked up a knife and stabbed the husband once in the chest according to this report. No, she ain't crazy. I promise you, right? From the reports, right? Listen to what it says here. A 25 year old laborer, and we're putting this account from iNews. 25 year old laborer is now dead after he was stabbed in the chest by his reputed wife, Lakeisha Garnett, a housewife. The dead man, Jason Bownott, the dead man, Jason Bownott of Middle Street, Princeton, Corinthian, the report says. Right, that's where he's from. And the incident occurred on Sunday around 2350 hours. Right? It says at the at the, at the home that the couple shared. 2330 hours. And the police said earlier in the day, according to the police, according to ID, according to the police, the police said earlier in the day the duo was at the suspect's mother house. Right? They were at Bonard's mother house at a family function. When they had an argument during which Bonard slapped Miss Garnett twice in the face. A true guy with a ply ply twice in the face. The woman subsequently went home and was shortly followed by her pretty husband. This is the account. At home, the couple continued to argue, during which the man reportedly slapped the victim again. The woman then picked up a knife and stabbed him once in the chest. That's the report we have. Once in the chest. Mm -hmm. Vice President says it's going to be an exciting year. I, I like this kind of excitement. I don't, we don't like this kind of excitement at all. We like it. It's going to be an exciting year. We like it. We like it. Right? Once in the chest. Of course, the account where he slapped her several times. She stabbed him once in the chest. Stop pushing people, you know. I don't know. That's, that's the allegation. But don't really push people too much in this year. As far as possible, 
You can see the writer says, that's it. Fitzroy Punch, Chisel Chipper, Sharon Fletcher, Charlie Games. As far as possible, live how? Live peaceably with all men. As far as possible. Stop pushing people. But our thoughts and prayers go to uh, Mr. Bonnard's family and the young woman's family as well. You know, thoughts and prayers. And again, we circling back to domestic violence. Circling back to domestic violence and, and how we deal with it. Circling back to that. Quite a number of things, folks. Quite a number of things percolating. And again, we just the charity. It's just the charity. Now, this one here, this one here is chilling. This one here is chilling. Right? I hope you are ready for it. It's not, um, you know, but it is what it is. Look at this one. This headline will be following. Six-month-year-old girl dies because a sleeping driver lost control of a vehicle. Six months old. Sleeping driver, the, the report says, lost control of a vehicle. Carnage on the roads, we talk, there's one epidemic on the waterways, the sheer carnage in this country. And then we said domestic violence is the other one. And then, of course, you know, you got COVID-19. And then you got PPP, it's four. All right. But this is one, the carnage that continues on our way. Six month year old baby girl. All right. Divine or divine can. Divine can. This is Monday, Monday morning this accident happened at Unity on the East Coast. Uh, Monday morning, Divine Can, it says here that according to the police, uh, about 1.30, uh, Devin Butts, a 31-year-old of Maikoni, collided with a vehicle driven by Akeem Jerick of Sparendam. The baby girl was in Jerick's vehicle along with 27-year-old Dequan Can of West Road, Sparendam. Police said Jerick was proceeding west along the southern uh, drive lane of Unity Public Road and Butts was proceeding east along the northern drive lane. Butts claimed that he fell asleep and lost control of his vehicle. And the Vin Can, you know, his Butts vehicle collided with the vehicle with the Vin Can and, and company. And six months here, six years old, six months old, sorry. Six months old. The Vincan transitions. And it's the third day of the year, and the Vice President says it's going to be an exciting year. This kind of excitement for us, I don't like. I don't like. And we got to be more cautious, all of us, as we use the roadways. We got to be more cautious, folks. Far more cautious than we are usually as we use the roadways. Again, the account is that the driver fell to sleep and hit the vehicle uh, that the Vin can and um, the Quan can, didn't see if it's her father who, who works the relationship, and the driver of that vehicle, uh, the, the vehicle they were in, and that's how she loses her life. Right? You know, what, how we transport children to is, is, uh, is uh, I'm not saying that's the situation here, but I've seen it too often, how we transport, how we transport children. Right? Children standing up by the window of the car and not strapped in and all of that, then we got our own parts to play. I thought some prayers go out to uh, the Khan family. Uh, can be an easy time for them. Six months old. Six months old. And sure, and sure, and again, I'm not saying this is the case here. I'm just using it as an occasion to see. Make sure when the kids are traveling with us and they're strapped in. Right? And sure, right now, my wife and I are looking for a bigger car seat for us, and he's already growing the, the, the one we have for him. Right? But he has to be strapped in. He's too young to be strapped in by himself. Looking for a car seat. So if you all know anywhere, give us the hookup. Right? Thoughts and prayers again to the Khan family. Thoughts and prayers again. And then, you know, um, in, 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 in some other news, I have, to, I have to bring it up here. We got the visitor folks. <laughs> Tommy Gibbs, Sharon Fletcher, our fun parts. Uh, Richard Pack and Maureen Williams, well, and his young friend, uh, Rav Gonzalez, is on a, he's on a four day visit. You know, he's in a lot of trouble economically. <laughs> you know, it's a, now it's going back time. Rav Gonzalez is visiting on a four day visit. He gets to ride on, uh, Irfan's chartered jet. 
which took um, which took in front to the inauguration of Rio Inácio de Silva, uh, the president of Brazil, and man charged a flight and went. You know, he sold them to earth. Yeah, charged a flight and went uh, to Brazil and uh, Ralph hitch a, hitch, hitch a right. I don't know if it's the cost of hitching the right. You gotta come and pay us a visit and make us look good or what? But Ralph is on a four-day visit. I know economically, St. Uh, Vincent and the Grenadines, of which Ralph Gonzalez, the Prime Minister, did some trouble. Did some trouble. So he might be looking for a little bit out. He just might be looking for a little bit out. We don't watch it. Right? Let's see Candy say, oh, shucks, it's Candy friend. <laughs> of course, sucks. An old front price friend, Ralph Gonzalez, and uh, Commissioner Cole. I like, I like Commissioner Cole's response. Stoops. <laughs> I hope I convey that properly. Maureen, good to see you. And all the other guys who are joining us. Akira Ash and um, I see Tommy Gibbs here as well. I see Alec Cummins, uh, Gwyneth Anderson, and all the other folks. This is our story that we're tracking locally. Uh, it's a heartening one. You know, our very own uh, Shimron Hetimaya. Do we have it? Shimon Hetemeyer says he's relishing, he's relishing fatherhood. And I wish more of us will. More, I, I love, I love being a father. Everything I love about it. Everything. It's a lot of money. You have three children, three children. Lots of money, but relish it. Relish it. You know, when um, uh, our, our youngest son um, is not at school as yet, but when my oldest son was going to, um, what do you call it? Primary school. The PTAs, the, the, the everything, the dropping off, the picking up, the swimming, the uh, foreign language classes. Yeah, love it. Love every moment, moment of it. And we picked up this account, I think it's, um, the other times I think it's reporting on this particular story. Uh, that Shimron had to my says, he's relishing fatherhood. He said 2022 was a learning curve. I don't know if it's cricket or it's fatherhood. Maybe it's both. But he says he's relishing relishing uh, fatherhood uh, that was one of the comments attributed to him and more fathers should more fathers definitely should um part of what he said in this account just want to make sure I, I i get it right um he says that so far fatherhood has been lovely he says i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying it actually right he says um there's not enough words to explain how great it feels to actually come home and see his son smile oh that melts you you had a hard of work. My son says, I love you, daddy. <laughs> and you hear that? Oh, all your kids meant to be. I just, I would tell my brother, I would you. He says to actually come home and to see him smile is something else. To see him light up when he actually sees your face, right? And he's always laughing, according to Shimon Hetimai's account. And Hetimai hears from Babis and one of the star players uh, there in cricket. And in the um, England Premier League as well, he says that he was very happy uh, while he was in while he was playing for the league recently, uh, when his son was born, that uh, an, that an extra effort was made, right, to leave the IPL to be present with his wife. He said uh, back in the when he was playing, right, he made an extra effort. We got make little effort. We got make little effort. I, I love this account. I love this account. You know. In 2023, let all of us as fathers, let me do more. Let me do more in 2023. Right? Those of us who have paid their child support in a long time, oh, oh, for the little ones. Right? Those of us who haven't seen the child for a long time, oh, for the children, let me do more. He says he was happy. Um, he says uh, that he made a special effort to leave the IPL to be present with his wife to see the birth of his bouncing baby boy, right? And of course, uh, he hears from his country, Bobis. I said he's beyond happy with the support that was shown to him by the Ranjitan Royals, who put all systems in place to ensure that he could fly home. Yeah, yeah, very happy about that. And we, 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 we know that Shimron is gonna go forward and he's gonna be a great lad. For me personally, it's not, um, the politics is not, how much rights you get, you can't carry home and tell your children, you know, I get so much of shares today or so much of likes. Parenting and, 
and spousing and so on is totally separate. <laughs> I don't know he's going to be a great dad. You know, he's going to be a great dad. I know that. Eh? I know that. We, we don't see the signs. We don't see the signs. He said he made special effort to be there. That's a big thing. You know, some people say money for us. <laughs> yeah, following the wrong thing. Money for us. You see? Flying home, you can buy the belt and say, I can stay and play. Well, you can hear me while already. A couple of the things we are following, folks. A couple of the things we are following. One of the things we saw, too, folks, we want to bring to attention is this editorial out of Stabbock News today. An editorial in Stabbock News dealing with, again, the Integrity Commission. And some of what Stabbock News says are very, very, very instructive um, concerning the Integrity Commission and government officials you know, submitting their declarations in a timely manner. And here's what Sabbath News said. They said, uh, with, let me make sure I got it, in front of me, not on the side. Yeah, Sabbath News said, with all the oil well poured into our country, it is imperative that the government officials set the example and present their declarations that do not betray inexplicable wealth accumulated or dissonance between their lifestyle and their earnings. Yeah. He said it's very important that suddenly you'll see ministers, you know, got a 16 billion on a bank account. Suddenly you'll see them, you know, with flying around in charter jets and so on. Inexplicable wealth, the editorial says, and the uh, inexplicable wealth accumulation and a dissonance between their lifestyles and their earnings. That's what he said. And moreover, Sabadou says, those declarations will, mean, will not mean a thing if the Integrity Commission does not rigorously probe them and use its powers under the Integrity Commission Act to interrogate further and settle discrepancies. And again, it was referencing uh, the Integrity Commission in Trinidad just released a 10-year report of his accomplishments and was able to highlight a number of things. And Sabbath News is uh, flagging the local integrity commission a little bit for being very, very far behind. Very, very, very far behind. Very far behind. That makes me remember that I submit my declarations as well. Very far behind. Yeah, let us all do that for this new year, folks. Let us all do that for the new year. And we head into the big issue, folks. The biggest you is 2023. The biggest you folks, 2023. When you all see how it off, this kind of start. 2023 is after. You see it already, right? You see the kind of start. 2023 is after already. It's not a good start. I told you all. We saw a couple of things here. Funny saying it's not after good. Start. But before, before I, I get there, before, before we get there. You know, before I get into the politics, right, and, and really the human side, before I get into the politics, Alet and Lacho and uh, Cecile and all the other folks, I get into the, the politics, before I leave the human side, why don't you say congratulations to the first couple they're expecting, right? The first couple expecting. Yeah, so congratulations, you know. Uh, Zayad is not going to be the only child. Any longer see it. He's getting some company, folks. He is getting some company. And we want to say big congratulation. Big congratulation. Huge, huge congratulations to the to the first couple. Yeah. Kelly and Shirley and Joseph and Margaret Nelson. Right? Big congratulations to the first couple. Big congratulations to them as a family. As a family. Don't play with people in the family. Right, the family, family aside, moderation aside, congratulations to the first couple. They've been busy. Congratulations to them, and we hope um, it's a it's a healthy, safe, and all of that kind of pregnancy. Right? They're expecting. That's how we try to say it now. Us men we try to say we're expecting. We foot and swell up. We ain't getting um, no aches and pains. We back all right. Um, and so forth, but we're expecting, guys. We're expecting. That's how they, they, they train us. That's how they train us to see. We're expecting. That's one of the things we're looking at, folks, in the morning papers. Yeah, yeah. Back in the politics, though. <laughs> Con congratulations to these guys.
Congratulations. Congratulations. The biggest you, folks, the biggest you we, we tackled this morning, the biggest you. 2020, 2023, and it was quite a year. It's building up to be quite, quite a year, folks. Quite a year, this 2023. Quite a year. <laughs> it, it is, it's quite a year. But what I want to really discuss this morning is how it starts. You know, it's going to be exciting. We really like some of this excitement. And there's a lot of noise already. The, 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 the first one we flagged this morning, I told you going to come back to it, is this economy is the fastest growing in the world, even without oil. Who nonsense is that? You know, see what sugar did? Rice production and so on. Fastest growing. With that kind of projection. Fastest growing. Well, not only that, we recently saw a finale uh, and an interview on Al Jazeera where the amount of lies in that interview, Candy and Gwennett, Denise, Samuels, Marilyn Thomas, Marilyn, Marilyn Thomas, Marilyn Lorma, the amount of lies. I am going to give you a snippet. We're going to give you a snippet of that interview. And folks, you call the lies. You, you guys come about the lies in this one interview. In this snippet, as a matter of fact. Eh? You all come the amount of lies in this, in this one, in this one. Eh? In this one interview with people. This snippet of this interview. You all come the amount of lies, folks. Come the amount. Eh? He was being interviewed, I should, I should let you know, by... Al Jazeera, we're talking about the new year 2023. How it started, so we told you, know, you see the amount of deaths. Domestic violence already at the forefront. The carnage on the roads already at the forefront. And then we start on lies. What kind of year do you think we, we're going to have? When we start the year on lies, what kind of year we have? It's not going to be a good year. That's what I can tell you. It's not going to be a good year at all. This is part of our interview that we saw coming out from Al Jazeera with the finale. Help me count the lies, folks. Y'all help me count it. Y'all help me count, count the lies. Help me count. Help me, help me, help me. We talked to a gentleman from the uh, Transparency Institute earlier today, and he said, if you talk to the average Guyanese on the street, many of them would say they're not feeling the benefits of, of this money and they're not sure that in the future they will. How do you respond to that? Well, I don't know. Uh, some people are self-appointed professors. I don't know what survey he did. But let me ask you, let me, let me put this back to you now. When you're able to give your citizens the best possible health care, when you're able to announce measures that is giving every single citizen uh, who require dialysis a check every year to help them with that dialysis. When you're able to give every school child a transportation grant to help them to go to school. When you're able to give them a uniform grant. When you're able to increase old age pension. When you're able to ensure that the primary health care is working as is best for the people when you're able to build roads all across the country to reduce the cost of transportation, farm to market access road that reduce the cost of production, make the farmers more competitive, when you're able to, uh, to expand and opening up tens of thousands of new acreage of land for agriculture, when you're able to deliver 50,000 house lots to people, when you're able uh, to, to deliver a children and maternity hospital that is world-class to reduce maternal death, when you're able to uh, invest in cancer treatment, when you're able to invest in, uh, in free education, 20,000 scholarship, when you're able to have a program that will see 150,000 Guyanese trained as coders, when I'm able to get Al Jazeera to come to Guyana because of oil, but I can use this opportunity to showcase the rest of Guyana, isn't there a benefit that is coming to the people? And I guess the same gentleman have children who is benefiting, and he himself is benefiting. And, you know, the sad thing is uh, many of the mainstream media, you go to the U.S., 
You go to many countries that were built on oil and gas, built on fossil fuel. You won't ask, uh, have the ordinary people felt the effect of fossil fuel, revenues from fossil fuel. But in small developing states, especially countries that are termed third world, we believe that sometimes, you know, oh, they don't know how to use their revenue. They don't know how to use their resource. They need always a guiding light to guide them on how to use their resource. We have a very clear plan. We have a very definitive plan. And that plan includes all of humanity. Let me be very clear. I've made it clear. The prosperity of Guyana must be must lead to the prosperity of the region, the CARICOM region and the region around us. We want to contribute positively to humanity. That is why we have the lowest deforestation rate in the world. We could have done, like many countries, clean the forest up a long time ago. That is why we are pursuing a low-carbon development strategy 2030. That is why I'm not telling you that we're going to bring fossil fuel on shore and generate all our energy. We are working on a hydro plant. And... And for someone to say they don't understand how this is translating to the benefit is someone who is actually naive or someone who does not want to acknowledge the transformation that is taking place. And sometimes you have to understand it is politically driven. Small societies like these, you have many actors who shelter under the umbrella of independence but are very politically charged and politically driven. We talked to a gentleman from the uh, Transparency Institute earlier today, and he said... If you talk to the average Guyanese on the street, many of them would say they're not feeling the benefits of, of this money, and they're not sure that in the future they will. Yep, 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 yep. Folks, you heard that? <laughs> how many? How many y'all come? Let us know, folks. How many y'all come? You're asking for yourself. How many? How many? How many? How many? <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. One interview, folks. That's not a good start to the new year. It is not. It can't be a good start to the new year at all. That can't be the way we started. No, please. Please. You know, you, they, they give me the 80 million signing bonus, Ivan Ramasa. You heard that? Triple C lost count. He lost count. You heard the 80 million signing bonus? That's it. <laughs> Uh, you see, we we brought the natural resource fund because we wanted to um we wanted to protect. We care about transparency and accountability. They 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 um initiated that. You, you, you heard that? I see somebody said four lies. I saw somebody said nineteen in that short clip, and that was a 26, 27 minutes interview. I we took out a couple of minutes from it. A couple of minutes. And look story. Looks to <laughs> folks. This is the excited 2023. We want to tell Vice President so we can have an exciting 2023. It is not the exciting 2023 that we want. You know, folks, we will be the you and share and expose of this foolishness. All right? Y'all should see how um TikTok lit up with that little clip there. Uh, folks says we live in which country in <laughs> And once you realize you can't start a new year like that, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna go nice. And you all mark our words here. You see that how the amount of debts we've had thus far? That's not gonna start a new year. Debts are compounded with lies too. Right? But lies, right? And then here, here, here in your front, that's how you start doing it's not people early. Oh, these people are transparency, they don't know what they're talking about. They got political agenda. <laughs> that's that's the very charitable. That's not very charitable at all, folks. It's not. It's not. It's not. So let me share and expose. And keep on doing what we're doing, folks. Great to see each and every one of you. That's going to do it for us until we see you guys back on the, on the podcast. That's going to do it for us. And, and share, folks. Share, 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 you know. Share your life. Share, share your life, you know. Share and expose. Share, share, share your life. Great to have each and every one of you with us, guys. Uh, good to see you. That's going to be for us. Said, good to see you, Denise and Sherlyn Juice. And tell you lies. Right. That is lies. Huh? Person say, if you tell a lie, teach a person, you're going to hell. Stand born? <laughs> that, folks, it's not going to start with you. It is not. It is not. It is not. But congratulations to the first family on their um, the, uh, uh, baby that's coming. 
Dan ambil iPad, eh eh. Ambil iPad, boleh video lah. Don't let's start here like that, folks. Don't let's start here like that. Great to see each and every one of you. And Naomi Drucker. Now, I see you in a little bit. Good to see you. And Marcel Daniels and, and Sharon Castillo Edwards. Uh, good to see each and every one of you who are joining us. We're pleased to have you guys here with us. Really, really pleased to have you folks here with us. And we, we do a number of things. Ram, Eva Ramasai, good to see you. Susan Jacobs, folks, folks. Christmas done. Let me move on. <laughs> Christmas finished. You see, if I have a lot of wishful thinking there, you know, all those guys, wishful thinking. Folks, Christmas done. Let's tackle the new year. Let's tackle the new year. Don't let anybody still enjoy it. Don't, don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Right? Let's tackle this new year together. Good folks, together. Pay some power, guys. Thanks for joining us this morning. I think that's going to do it for us at the end. That's so many things in front of me. That's going to do it for us at the end. Stay safe, folks. Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe out there. Please and thank you. Good to see each and every one of you folks. Stay safe out there. Stay safe.